Buongiorno, everyone. You guys, you guys, I am so excited. We are opening book mail. I'm so happy. This will be probably the last book opening of this year because girl has no money. But that's good because I will... I will just value them more now when I know that I can't buy more books because I can't I literally can't I'm on a book band. <laughs> it's time to open some books. Okay, I've been collecting them for like two months three months so honestly honestly guys i don't i don't remember what's inside i don't remember i know that i have some uh also journals i love journaling and i bought you like journaling situations i don't know how to how to describe it but oh my god we have some books ah! Ah! we have lots of books so i'm so I can't believe that I'm all actually opening you guys because I've been waiting for these books for such a long time It was so stressful with moving out because I moved moved out recently from my parents house and I moved in to a different place and it's been just so stressful I've been trying to find my routines here. I've been trying to read I've been trying to like create my character here as you can see it's going it's going good I this is my bookshelf which I'm so proud about. I'm so happy I can open these books right now now because I've been waiting to be in a like a good state of mind but it's not important I'm in a good state of mind right now or we will see tomorrow I'm starting a new job so okay let's start there's no more need to wait we don't need to wait I'm sorry I'm so excited what is it oh my god oh that's amazing that is so weird Okay, so uh, I didn't know what kind of book that was. I thought it was a non-fiction book, but I can see it's not like that. It's it's like, look how it looks. I think it's a full of just like, whoa, I'm, I'm having a confusion right now, you guys. Give me a second. It's so cool. Oh my God. It's like you have written sickness right here. Here you have literally like the meaning what it is. And here we have mantras you can say oh my god i love meditation i didn't know it would look like that okay so we have for example anxiety what is it not trusting the flow and the process of life that's very interesting and um the the mantra is i love and approve of myself and i trust the process of life i am safe are you serious you guys i am okay so we, we do have introduction we do have some text right here but most of the book is just like sicknesses and like how to how to heal it are you that this is crazy so these are literally so we literally have a problem right here we have a problem we have probable cause and then new thought pattern that's amazing okay so we also have acne let's see acne a problem cause uh not accepting the self dislike of the self that's so interesting we have addiction probable cause is running from the self fear not knowing how to love the self and thought is i now discover how wonderful i am i choose to love and enjoy myself you guys we have everything we have aids we have alcoholism amnesia we have anemia I don't even understand this word. It's like hepatitis. It's like hemorrhoids. This is so amazing. Like y you can use it even for like your daily meditation, like your daily affirmations. You can just start your day with new sickness. <laughs> uh, you don't even look at the sicknesses, I think. I, it, it just like the, the meditation are so nice. And if you have one of these sicknesses, you can help yourself. So I think it, it is so interesting. I'm gonna start it like today. Later, it's like a also explanation of of spinal of spine sorry spine oh my god whoa that's so cool i'm so excited to read it wow i did not expect something like that let's see what is this one whoa classical ballet fundamentals oh my god <laughs> yay okay guys so if you don't know i am a dancer i dance I have my little ballet corner right here. I will show it to you because it's cool. It's 
So I wanted to buy like uh, books to educate myself more and to have something I can show to kids in the future. So we have this one. It's very cute. It's very simple. We have here just positions. So it's very, very, it's perfect for like children and for anyone who wants to start literally uh, we have here just drawings and the uh, names of the uh, moves and poses what to do what not to do it's amazing i'm so happy i love ballet i've been re-watching uh, old barbie recently all the time because they dance ballet in those old barbies and i think it's beautiful okay so we have this one let's go uh let's move on okay this one is actually for an author and i want to open this now so an author reached out to me he asked if i would be interested in reading his book and reviewing it and showing it to people so that's what i'm doing right now if you are an author self-published author and if you want or even if you're not self-published i can read your book i can review it i can show it to my people my people from wonderland so let me know i'm so excited because i don't know much about this book and uh yeah ooh, that's a thick book you guys so happy to have these kind of things because well i know how hard it is to publish a book because i'm an author and writer myself so i'm just like so proud when i can see people you know doing what they love i'm so excited because it is a fantasy and i love fantasy this is huge okay it's called a wizard's dream born into a living feeling world rising from primal waters Asya, the dream seer roams the mystical plains forced by the wizards. She faces the horrors lurking in the underworld, twisted conceptions, teased out by chaos, the fires of purgatory seeking to remake her, and the tenderness, the tenderers of dreams dwelling in the heavens. Aided by the goddess of her land and stalked by death himself, she stumbles upon a secret of life and a vision of what her world could be. That seems like really, really interesting and beautiful. Oh, and we even have a map. I love when we have a map in the book. It's very really beautiful. And I love the spine. Like when the spines are like this, it's just the best. It's thick, but I'm interested to dive into it. I love magic. I love the idea of heaven, underworld. So I think it's gonna be a very interesting read. If you're gonna be interested, I think you can find this book on Amazon, so just check it. <laughs> I will link it down below. Sure, like, what am I even saying? What am I even saying? Ah, I love books! Okay, 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 okay. Let's go with this one. <laughs> you can heal your life. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> So this is by the same lady who did this. Yeah, as you can see, I've been going through some stuff. So through for the past like two, three months. So I bought some nonfiction healing stuff. Uh, this is great. And this one, um, you can heal your life. An excellent book for self-resurrecting one's life and finding self-esteem and self-love. I have not read anything but uh, Louise Hay. And I've been reading lots of self-development books about personal growth and about just like getting healthy um, in your mind. I think almost all of them were written by men and I've never read anything by her. So I'm so interested to see because, you know, as a woman, I also want to have this feminine perspective of, of health, of your soul, of your body, of your mind. So I've been reading all this, you know, male books, like how to be productive, how to heal yourself, how to be happy, which is great, but women, Think differently than man and that that's a fact so I'm so excited to dive into it it gives me so much like feminine energy and wow that's really cool that's really really cool oh we have meditation daily affirmation perfect perfect okay I'm so happy I'm really happy oh, finally someone by woman I think I don't have more self-development books though so let's see more books what is it <gasps> Guys, I completely forgot I, I bought this book. Guys, I literally like yesterday, I, I finished reading Tea Dragon Society because I uh, reread that. I reread that and I was like, hmm, what can I read next? I completely forgot about this. You guys, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. 
you are for sure familiar with Tea Dragon Society. It's this, this is like the coziest thing ever. So uh, it's about the society that takes care of the dragon and Tea Dragon Society. I don't know what is Aquicorn Cove. I suspect it's connected to ocean, but it's about dragons and that's, that's the most important thing. I'm gonna read it today. This book is for everyone who protects the sea and for those who will inherit the responsibility. Thank you for taking care of a beautiful world. I love the sea. I love it. Okay, you guys, we have um, three more packages. We have three more packages and in this one we have two books. So this I wanna leave for the last because it's the biggest and we have two books. So I think that's cool. <laughs> Yes! Uh, oh my god, this is perfect. Wow, I love it. Okay, so this is literally like a like a school book, I would say, with just like pictures, positions, uh, explanations, how to do, in, in what way. I love it. It's perfect. Perfect for beginners and I think even for advanced people like if you want to come back to dancing and for, for kids also. I love this. Wow. What do we also have here? Wow. We have even stuff about clothes and makeup and the show itself and how does it, how does the life of a dancer look like because I think it is written by Oh yeah, so it is uh, by, written by Darcy Bassell. So she finished Royal Ballet in London. That's just amazing. I am so happy. Okay, so this has to be a journal in that case, because I don't know what else it can be. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, that's so cool. Look at it! I ah! So I, I knew that I bought some kind of creative journal, but I didn't know what was it. I'm like, I, I love doing creative journals. And this is like, when I was younger, I did this destroy this book journal and it was very fun. And this is a Harry Potter version, destroy the whole Horcruxes. You guys, I am the, the biggest Harry Potter fan. I not the biggest, like everyone can say it, but you, but I love Harry Potter and color color this whole page yellow. Throw a ball at this book. That's so great. Draw a maze. That's so fun. Write something in language only you can understand, even if you made it up. You guys, that looks beautiful. Ooh, um, get your hands dirty and wipe them across this page. Ooh, draw Mandrake on this page. That is so sweet. You guys, I can't. This is too cute. I'm so excited. This is this is so fun. This is so fun. For how long have I have I been recording? I don't know. Okay, next one. What is it? I don't know. Let's open it. Let's open it. Which what is it? <gasps> you guys. This is huge. If I knew that it was this huge, this is honestly so big. I'm terrified of this. I didn't check how long it was, but this book is huge. Well, I hope there's an audiobook to it. No, I'm kidding. I have to say that I really want to read this. I really want to read this. It's about dragons, as you can probably tell I like dragons. I think I would have to body read it. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a reading vlog on it. What do you think? What do you think? Is it a good idea? I don't know. This is huge though. I didn't expect it was so huge, but I'm like crazy happy. It's beautiful. It's about dragons. I don't know what to think about it yet because I've heard so many different op opinions about this, but I'm excited. I'm excited and we will see. Okay, and the last book. The last book. What is it? I have no idea. <gasps> yeah. It's the dragon's promise. Oh goodness. Oh yay, finally. So I, I read six crimson cranes. It's like right here literally. Like one year ago in England. Oh, maybe I'm gonna read that in England too. That would be fun. And I read it literally like a year ago. Yeah, I wanna I wanna come back and to the series because I remember loving it so so much. And 
Oh, it's also about a dragon! I, yeah, yeah, I forgot the dragon's promise, what the hell? Oh. A dragon's kingdom, a star-crossed love, a cursed pearl with the power to mend the world. That just sounds amazing. That sounds amazing and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! Well, now when I'm looking at these books, I just, just look at them. I love books. I love books just so much and that's all I want to do. Books and also teaching because I love children. So that's that's that that's all. Like just give me books and let me work with tro children. Oh, wow, we are finishing. We're officially finishing this book haul. I'm so excited with these books. I'm so excited. Okay, sorry, sorry. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what are you reading currently. Let me know if you read Fourth Wing because I didn't know it would be so huge. Uh, <laughs> and if you did, please let let me if you liked it if not tell me if you're even interested in reading it and tell me what was the last book that you bought or read or bought tell me whatever you want thank you so so much oh and if you are still watching please leave me dragon emoji do we have dragons emojis i think we should have yeah for sure leave me a dragon emoji thank you so so much guys thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and we are going to see each other next time Bye!